What's up, man? <laughs> On this lesson here, if you get attacked in this kind of environment, okay, when somebody come and grab hold of your neck, either stand in normally or push you into the wall, few things you need to take and consider when it just happened. Let me show you here so you know exactly what is it. So maybe when he came, when he pushed, you got to make sure you pray. See my, my back like this? Pray, okay, like this. So my back will in like this kind of movement, not like this, when you push. You see my head now? Attack, hit that head first, and then he grab hold me. It's, you can't not try to pull from there because he forced my neck. <laughs> it will be a problem. Right into here, you won't be able to do anything. Then for you to do any kind of movement, it's impossible. So the most important thing is just learn to pray, and then when it came, you see my neck now, drop down slightly. Okay, so my neck slightly drop down like this already. It's very difficult for him to try to squeeze. Okay, because underneath here, your neck is cut into here. It's difficult for him to hurt you. Now this is a called binding time. You buy a couple seconds of your time to consider of your technique and movement to attack. So when you hear like this, first thing you got to learn to understand, have your hand tied together like this and go directly at his throat. So, in this particular here, you go right in here, okay? Not to push, force him down like this. So, he will have problems straight away. So when you hear, this hand try, this hand come on top of his. Why this hand go on top? It got tight, it should bring this down so you don't have too much pressure into your neck. That will save you first before this hand come along, okay? So while you're here, you go like this. Straight up like this, okay? And then have your hand already here, Join them together, and then you pull this arm down while your body turns like this. Okay, see, see on the neck here, when you pull, pull and turn like this, so the arm is out of the way. Okay, so it's difficult for him to hurt you now. And then this hand, when you have this hand here already, this hand, keep it tight, and this hand straight away making the attack. Okay, to confuse him right away. And then turn that hand to the neck, Wow, to turn to this position to hold. Okay, grab hold my leg. They won't be able to. So when he into here, then you can knee him. Okay, you can knee him, you can knee him, you can knee him. And then when you grab hold of him and try to force him in, you can't just pull him, ground yourself. It's difficult. So you've got to make sure this hand here, okay, turn a little bit here to upset his body and then using this hand to force. Okay, to force like this to able to able to hurt him. And then if you want to get, move him and try to push him out of the way, this hand inside here, from this hand inside like this, turn it so you out here. Why your hand out here, okay, is if you hook me, you cover. If you try to grab me, you cover. So your hand is from inside to the outside. And then now you can push him out of the way like this to get rid of him. So you're using every technique and movement that you've been practicing into your training to make this kind of movement working effective for you. Because everything you do is affect everything you try to do when somebody don't let you do the kind of movement you try to do to them. Okay, so you got to understand that. So let's go slowly again. So when you're in this situation, in, make sure, tend your neck, second hand, it's very difficult for him to see. Okay, like this, very difficult. Don't attack in the eye yet, because if he try to pull the hand back like this, and he still can punch me now, all this can happen. You don't want that, you want to be scared, show them that you worry, you're scared. Then come, then this hand straight away force, then turn straight away, and then this hand underneath, as you're doing this, straight away make an attack. And then this hand made a sweep from here, come to here like this, in, okay? Sooner than that, then you bring him out a little bit here, and then you can knee him to the head, like this, to the body, okay? Now, a lot of time you want to move somebody, if you're grounded, you can't just move, grab the tie, now you're gonna have a problem. So you gotta make sure this hand turn up like this, okay? Turn up like this, so the shoulder will come up like this. It's easy now for him to move, because it's pain onto the shoulder, upset the body position, it's easy to move him to where you want him, okay? When you want to uh, push him out of the way, you do the return this hand from outside to the inside and you still 
checking that arm like this. You're still checking that. If you go like this, he grab now, you're gonna have a big problem straight away. Okay? So you gotta make sure you're still checking this hand. So you come down, so your hand is here. So from here, come down, hand is here. So grab hold me, it's gonna be difficult. Okay, so this is important to understanding when you're here. Now when you're here with it, easier to hold that and then push and you get rid of them like this. Okay, basic and simple. Okay, thank you for that. So this is when you need to spend some time to practice to understanding the person's body. When you understand their body, it's easy for you to move them from one place to another. If they're strong, you can make them weak by turning their body in the wrong position. So to upset the body positioning, it's easy for you to do all the things you need to do. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on the next lesson. Grab and control. Elbow, control, can be like this. You can't do like this, and then, or you can't do like this, then this hand down like this. It can't be either. But because you're not very good, not very strong, not very uh, powerful, then join together like one piece. So when you're here, hand here, join one piece, keep it tight like this, and then the shoulder already laying in there. Look, a nice big spare rib coming in, and then shoulder ready, and then attack. Bam! And then you see the rip cracking. <laughs>